हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ डॉक्टर कल्पना एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन मेड इजी द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस दैट आर बेस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक साइज रिडक्शन सी आई केम अक्रॉस सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हुज मेन क्वेरी इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर जी पैट वट माई सजेशन इज इन जी पैट द सिलेबस दैट इज मैंशन इज whatever you study in pharmacy right in b form that is the only syllabus it is not at all which is extra okay so my suggestion would be whatever topics you have in your syllabus you should go through them and prepare yourself as per the technique how you will solve the multiple choice questions because they might sometimes be tricky so Until unless you are aware how to answer them, you will definitely be able to qualify the GPAT exam, right? So study hard, study right, and answer in a very confident manner, right? So for that, your preparation should be very much based on the practicing also it's not like you have read it that means you know it in a very uh, well defined manner okay you should practice it and get it confirmed from the books from internet you have so many facilities that whatever you are thinking is right or not okay so let's begin with the multiple choice questions question number 1 size reduction can be obtained by ऑप्शन ए मैकेनिकल मेथड ऑप्शन बी प्रेसिपिटेशन मेथड ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अब सी वी हैव स्टार्टेड दैट बाय बोथ द मींस लाइक मैकेनिकल एज वेल एज प्रेसिपिटेशन वी कैन अचीव द रिडक्शन इन साइज ऑफ द रॉ मटेरियल एज वेल एज द एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इंग्रेडिएंट एंड द डोजेज फॉर्म बिकॉज साइज प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द फॉर्मुलेशन एज वेल एज इट्स फार्मो कैनेटिक्स एंड डायनेमिक स्टडीज राइट so the correct answer is option c that includes both mechanical and precipitation method moving to the next question that is different mechanisms of size reduction are impact attrition shear and compression option b mechanical precipitation option c hardness toughness friability and option d none of the above see uh, if you focus on uh, the option c hardness toughness and friability there might be some factors that we have already studied which will affect the reduction in size of the material that you are going to reduce in size and option a deals with the various mechanism impact attrition shear and compression that appears to be the correct answer if we uh, stay some focus on option b that is mechanical and precipitation these are the methods of size reduction not the mechanisms right so the correct answer is option a that is impact attrition shear and compression moving to the next question that is question number 3 the principle of hammer mill is question number a impact b attrition c compression and d both a and b so in both these mills like hammer mill and ball mill they are based on combination of impact and attrition so the correct answer is option d that is both a and b the equation e is equal to 2 kb bracket start 1 upon square root of dn minus 1 upon square root of di belongs to rittinger's theory bond's theory kick's theory or walker's theory so it is the bond's theory correct answer is b that is bond's theory equation uh, E is equal to K K L N D I by D N belongs to option A Rittinger's B Bonds C Kicks or D Walker's theory. The correct answer is option C that is Kicks theory. Moving towards the next question that is question number six. The equation D E is equal to minus K D D upon D raised to power N belongs to the correct answer is Walker's theory. Right. Next question is question number seven. The equation E is equal to K R S N minus S I belongs to. Correct answer is Rittinger's theory. Option uh, next question is question number eight. The mechanism of size reduction in ball mill is impact attrition, C compression, both A and B. As we have already discussed, both ball mill and hammer mill have 
both the mechanism that is impact and attrition both so the correct answer is option d both a and b next question is question number nine elliptical pipe and grinding nozzles are inherent part of fluid energy mill hammer mill edge runner mill or ball mill the correct answer is fluid energy mill option a i'll show you the diagram also and the equations of different theories rittinger's kicks bonds right next one is question number 10 the noise pollution is a major disadvantage of correct answer is what ball mill you might have uh, used the ball mill in your lab and you might have witnessed the pollution uh, in terms of noise that ball mill causes otherwise hammer mill fluid energy and edge runner mill are not that much noisy as your ball mill i'll show you the different laws c laws governing size reduction they are the same as if you are asked in your uh, theory exam also that what is size reduction the right uh, theory of size reduction so you have to write these theories or the laws that govern this is the kick's law e is equal to kk l and di by dp okay e is energy required per unit feed mass kk is the rick's kick's constant di is the initial average size to be reduced dp is the powdered materials average size rittinger's e is equal to kr sn minus si bonds kk ln di by dn walkers d is equal to minus k d d d by d raised to power n all this we have studied uh, already in the theories of size reduction the next one was uh, fluid energy mill the diagram will show you the components of fluid energy mill uh, this is the hammer mill and this is the fluid energy mill so you can see the grinding nozzle or energizing nozzle the air stream injector venturi feeder all these are parts of fluid energy mill hope you enjoyed this video we shall come across with the next videos that will be more towards practicing for gpat right uh, do subscribe my channel if you really like it for the recent updates you can click on the bell icon so as to get the notification whenever i upload a new video do comment in the comment section if you have any doubt any queries you want to have some video on a particular topic please let me know thank you have a nice day